Now, the 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by tireoutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Couple uh, notes before we kick off sports concepts and rationalizations. These won't be questions, but disappointed for my guy, Ed Foley, in the van down by a river. That was a kick at the peaches. Temple interim coach. He was so good at Shreveport. Won't be getting the head job. Uh, Ed, by the way, who we learned was uh, OC at JU, uh, was passed over in favor of Manny Diaz from the U, which is a big blow, by the way, to Miami. Um, In terms of recruiting and what's going on right now, Manny Diaz had a really good defense down there, so... Another. That's what we're uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry. And uh, welcome home, Jay Rue, as the Mets re signed Familia. Yeah! <laughs> to find out about which one of those football clubs wants to hit each other harder or longer. Amen. Amen. Yeah, your guy's back. Yeah. He's Yo back. soy. Yo soy Familia. Somos. Uh, I'll, I'll ask you a question, Jeff Prosser. You're damn right you will. Uh, do you see any, uh, do you see any, um, problems, any worries, any concerns with the Golden State Warriors who got whooped at home last night by the Toronto Raptors without Kawhi Leonard, who did not play last seven night. Seven and one without Kawhi is uh, toughen those uh, jokers up without, you know, with, sometimes if he's not even playing <laughs> on seven out of eight. Look, I've been on the Raptors since early, so I, I don't know if it spells some incredible amount of trouble for Golden State. It's got to be awful hard when you're winning the title every year to get too juiced about a mid-December game. I- I'm sure uh, Golden State thinks it doesn't matter, but I will caution against this. One thing Golden State has had really every year is home field through the out the playoffs. Yeah, They haven't had to go on the road in a Western Conference final and play in Houston. In Denver. Right? Did they have to go to Houston or no? Well, I guess they, uh, Did yeah, they, they not have home court against Houston last year? Or they lost it in the first game. Is that what? That, that's what that's it is. What it yeah, is. yeah, they lost yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. No, but they had. Yeah, but they home, had. Yeah, yeah, they had home right. court yep, throughout. Yep, They've yep, never yep. not had it against the East. And you know, one thing Toronto whipping them last night by twenty does. Yeah. is it's you know gives a little message. I, I've been lulled into this on a smaller scale when it came to LeBron in the East, uh-huh. and teams would play with the Cavs, and the Cavs would mm. settle to be the three seed, and yet the playoffs would come and they'd sweep everyone. So I I, have a, I'd still go with Golden State. Here's my little theory on Golden State. Yeah. This is it for them. This is their last run. KD's leaving. They hate each other. Uh, they'd rather have Draymond than KD. Uh, it, it, so they're, they're going to muddle their way through the regular season, like you said. They're not going to – you know, win 25 in a row at any point. They're just going to – and then they're going to bond together and go for it in the last playoffs, and knowing that KD's gone, uh, uh, Clay might be gone. Um, this is the end of the Cousins, run. you don't know. Yeah, They'll you, have him you, for just a year. Yeah, you thought that this thing – these things don't go on forever. It's so hard at any sport for there to be a dynasty because there's so many – to have all these great players together, no matter what, it's a hard mesh. And they did it for a couple – and KD probably wants to win one more title with them before he leaves – but I think that this is it for Golden State. I wish, if I had a wish at this That's stage my prediction. of my broadcasting and sportscasting career, if yes. I had a wish right now, especially this considering, wish especially considering for what you would be that you would not do that. Uh-huh. No, that's not it. <laughs> uh, especially now at this stage, and considering what we do, I wish that Gen Pop, the general population, uh-huh. loved the NBA like they did the NFL. I wish there was the interest in the uh-huh. NBA and the following and the. That the, because I because then you could break down the Trey Young Luka Doncic showdown People last care. night, right? Yes, like like it was golf versus Mahomes. Yeah, but sadly you won't. Yeah, well, I and I I don't really care Question to do two. that. Pers- uh, yeah. What Katie about Trey? Young? Huh? Is Katie going to L.A. in your prediction? Uh, I don't know. There's I just think he's teams. leaving Golden State. Here's the deal with the L.A. Clipper rumors: there are two teams <laughs> every year that are going to two teams that every year are going to get this collection of free yeah. agents, and they never do. And those two teams are the Clippers and who, Dan? The Knicks. And the Knicks. <laughs> so yeah, I'll believe the Knicks and Clippers acquiring all this talent. By the way, shout out, do. shout out to my New York Knickerbockers last night. Well done. That's a they good lost. loss. Who'd you lose to? At Cleveland. Good loss. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's one you want to give back because that one is that one will help. Get that's worth two out. on the Zion scoreboard. At Absolutely. Mm, I'm, Absolutely. I'm, I'm marching on Zion. You stay away from my no, guy. No, we're only two away from you guys, you two <laughs> losers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a uh, – I don't know if this is much of a question uh-huh. as it is a realization I've come to, a okay. bold prediction. All right. So I want you to give me maybe – I can phrase it like this. You know, from one to 100% chance that this happens. Because mm-hmm. this, this is a bold prediction. 
I'm not predicting a Jaguars victory, Dan. Predicting a Jaguars shutout this weekend. <laughs> what are the chances that the Jags could have two consecutive home shutouts to end the year? And would that in some way be important? Uh... Um, I- I think the shutout of the Colts was important because it proved that they can still do it with some of the guys that they have. Uh, I'm not so sure what this one would mean except get them to uh, get them to five wins and have a feel-good feeling for the fans at home on a Sunday, uh, which they only got to experience, you know, four times this year. So, um, you know, listen, any NFL game means something, but this one is really – I mean, this is a dog of a dog. I mean, if you look at the – you know, you got Redskins the – Redskins still have – Hopes. I mean, they don't have much of a quarterback situation. The Redskins have lost four in a row. We're down to the New York I, Football I, Giants, forty to nothing I last Sunday. I know. <laughs> I'm aware. I, is I that bad? But I also I don't know that this, this NFL season is no, just, I know. It's crazy with teams that lose uh, when they win three in a row. Look I, at the Ravens. They I, were. That's fine. I'd be willing to bet you whatever. Back to the shutout. I don't. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I say they're going to shut them out, I don't think the Redskins are doing it. Correct. Um. Eh. Uh, listen, it's always good. It, it, there's some good stuff in there, but yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. It doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot to me. Gotcha. I don't think. Um, there's a great game tonight. It's the flip side of yeah, the Jags and the Redskins. Yeah. It's, 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 um, you know what? I'm going to shift gears for a second. Okay. I want to change that. We'll get to that one after. Yeah, we talked about it at any point. We... Uh, the NFL announced. The teams that were playing in London yesterday. Oh, they did. I missed that. There are five teams that are going to London. Okay, uh, the Jaguars, of course, are one of them. We know that they're under contract through I think twenty twenty or twenty twenty two. I can't remember which. Lauren, do you have the other four teams? One of them. I do. Well, did they name the, the Chargers? Jags opponent? No. Oh, the Chargers are going to London. Chargers, Rams, Raiders, Bucks. So there's now, five host teams. Five host teams. So five games be... in London. Okay. Let me let me let me throw this at you. This scenario, though. Four in London, one in Mexico City. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah. And the Rams th- will probably go to Mexico City, right? Since they, <gasps> you would think, or the Raiders, you would think. But it's supposed to be Rams Chiefs this year, wasn't it? But one of the there's a couple things working here. Yeah, the Raiders don't have a home for next year. They should move to London. The Raiders are playing an international game. No, <laughs> Jaguars play a home game in London next year, and the week after play the Raiders in London next year. That's as a just a away supposition game, as an away yeah. team. I'm they fine stay with in it. London yeah. for eight days, ten days. I'm there's always been some dangerous. talk that they were going to do two two yeah. games. And that's okay as long as one's home, one's away. We don't want them to take another home game. Right. I think that's the general feeling of the fan base, I'm sure. And I agree with that. But because it's the Raiders who the Jags are going to Oakland next year. That's on the schedule. Jags at Oakland. Well, to me, it makes it, That would make sense. It would make sense it would that. would test the. So keep an eye out on that. Theory of putting a tell. team over there for. It, would, I, it I, wouldn't shock me in the least I, if it's Jags, whoever, and Jags such at a, Oakland the, the following The week. whole. The whole thing, it, it's become far too common that we forget what a ludic- ludicrously stupid idea it is to put a team in London. Still tough. Just a dumb idea. Still Although tough. I will say this, this shocked me. Uh-huh. A plane flight from Seattle, say Seattle's playing, the or the Patriots are playing Seattle. In London? In Seattle. Oh, okay. The plane flight from, from Boston to Seattle mm-hmm. is like... Five hours and 50 minutes. Okay. Boston to London, 445. You know, it's closer to London for some East Coast teams than it is to go to, say, L.A. and play, or Seattle and play, or San Francisco and play. Are you sure? Would I throw it out there if I weren't sure? How how well do you know me? (laughs) Could you give me flight time, please, from Boston to to London, and then flight time from Boston to L.A.? Give me those two uh, answers. Yeah, and I think you'll find okay. that it's actually closer for the East. It's closer for the Washington Redskins to go to London right. than it is to go six to. Six hours and 40 minutes from Boston, Seattle to Seattle. Six hours, 25 minutes from Boston to London. Closer to London than Seattle. Minutes. So maybe we are overplaying some of the travel cool concerns. But can't I get a movement for the Raiders team that has no home? This Well, they cut Vegas. Right, but right now they've got all these issues. Can't the narrative become the Raiders are going to London? No, because no. they're going to Vegas going to in 2020. Vegas. It's too big they're, of a... The, the broken yeah. ground on yeah. the stadium. Yeah, that's that's, right. happening. that's yeah. a lot. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Maybe the, what about the San Diego Chargers of L.A. London? Maybe they should go there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of the opponents for 2019, who's most likely to be our... Who are, the two, who are the two... And it, there's an, the and NFC teams yeah. it's, uh, from the West, our home teams are the Saints and Bucks, And then for also, sure. yes. 
It'll be either the Saints, Jags, and there's another good one. There's uh, one more. Give me a there's good There's a home one. date. They also have uh, the home dates, of course, the division teams also have Chiefs, Jags at home. And uh, then the division second place opponents, not sure which one we would host. Uh-huh. Uh, right now, the second place teams are Miami and Baltimore. Oh, we can't do Baltimore. We just did Baltimore. I right. do Miami. They've done Miami, too. I don't I mean, I, it's, you know. You know what? I you really got to look at a bunch of the parameters, like who was there last year and things like that. Like, did the Saints play London this year? If they didn't, the Saints Jags could be one. That They'll squeeze the Chiefs or the Saints. That over makes there. sense. Yeah, that would be the one. Saints or the Chiefs. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. Um, that's great. Take, take our good home games. Well, that's what, they, there. that's what they do. I mean, look, they've kept the. Not it, completely. I like when they, they sent Buffalo and Indy, and, yeah. and we play some dogs over the Ravens. Those yeah. are marquee games. Um, uh, I'll, I'll follow up. I was mentioning the Chiefs and the Chargers. Yeah. The interesting thing to me is the Chiefs have a nine-game winning streak in the series against the That's Chargers. Surprising, nine in a row. That's a lot. It is, uh, uh, especially against a division rival. So, but the question is, do the Chiefs continue the streak tonight, or is this where the Chiefs, after another wonderful September, October, November? Start to teeter totter. No, I think getting Chiefs, ready to fall out and, right. and not do anything in the if postseason. I'm a, if I'm a Chiefs fan, I'm optimistic. I'm comfortable. I'm looking forward to partying tonight and beating the the San Diego Chargers of Los Angeles for the tenth straight time. Uh-huh. Um, I do think this though. I, I, I the Kareem Hunt thing is going to come back to bite him. It's going to keep him from winning the Super Bowl. They need that extra oh, explosive yeah. element. He's great out of the backfield, and they've won a couple of games, and we're kind of forgetting that the Chiefs have lost one of their best three players. So no question. I think that's going to catch up. Even I think Kareem Hunt is one of the – if if man, to me – He's Kamara-like. He can do it out of the backfield. He's one of the, he's one of the – I'll say I, – I think he's one of the four best backs in the NFL. He, he might be. I mean, I he, mean, he, he, he tapered – I'll tell you what's impressive about Hunt. He led the league in rushing last year. He tapered off the second half of the year. He wasn't real he's, great. He's and what so I, people wondered, well, what is he really? And then he came out this year and, oh, man. and boom. He's what I what I want Leonard Fournette to be. That guy runs hard, yeah. man. Tyreek Hill, by the way, is probably the name to really watch tonight. If you remember back to that week one, he throttled the Chargers. He's a little beat up, too. He, he was a, questionable, yeah, he but, he's gonna play, but he's going to play. But he's going to play. But he had a punt return for touchdown. He had like 200 yards receiving in a couple of scores. It's in scores. Kansas City, so you got to like I the like the Chiefs pretty no, strong man. tonight. And they also, the Chiefs tonight, I, look, the Chiefs know this. They can't go to New England in in January. I don't they, like if it. they want to. They have got to have home field if they're going to go to the Super Bowl. And even home field doesn't always work for the Chiefs. See the Titans a year ago. I have one more thing that was kind of came out over the weekend and uh, or uh, earlier in the week, and it's gotten lost in the shuffle. Mm-hmm. And it it despises me what Danny White's immediate reaction is. You ungrateful twerp. Yeah. Um. Should UCF not take a two-for-one with the University of Florida? Of course they should. We all know that. I got Danny White trying to say, well, we're to a point we only do home-and-home. Home. Really? Enjoy another home-and-home home with Indiana, Danny. Yeah. Keep painting up your banners there, Chief. The University of Florida, in a response to your whiny, beggy nonsense, mm-hmm. said, sure, we'll do you two. And here's why. And I hear UCF fans say, well, they're top ten. Why, why would you need two for one? Here's why. It does not benefit the University of Florida to play UCF. If Florida's going to do a home-and-home home with a top ten team, it's going to be Ohio State yeah. or Oklahoma. Yeah. It's not going to be UCF. No. So UCF, you frauds, you liars, you chicken bleeps. If I was Danny White in UCF, the minute – Strickland said, "We'll play him two for one." I'd have had a, I, I would have had a contract signed in an hour. Oh, really? Okay, we accept. But no, not UCF and Danny White, who hide behind their little dress. Yeah, they caught a little flack for that one. Which Golly! Anyway. I wonder if it makes. Was there a question in there? I wonder if it makes. No, I wonder if it makes uh, uh, Strickland and, <laughs> and Mike White uh, uncomfortable. Their relationship. Yeah, that's Man, true. Man, your brother's that's driving true. me nuts. Uh, let's head to break uh, with caller number what three. Three works for me, Dan. What are we giving out? Call number three is going to get a selection from the 1010 XL Holiday Gift Guide. You can find it at 1010XL.com. Lots of great gift ideas. Today's winner, call number three, six four one ten ten. It's going to get $25 to spend over at the Edwin Watts Golf Shop and 25 bucks to spend over at Gotham City Limit Comics. I like it. I like it a lot. We're back with uh, Doc right after this. 